<clears throat> so I was driving in the car today and I feel like I feel like the Holy Spirit was talking to me about um about conscience our conscience I mean I could be wrong it's what I was hearing in my heart um and what I heard was your conscience is powerful because a conscience gives people the ability to experience um, what they believe, right? Uh, I thought, wow, that's really powerful that a conscience gives you the ability to experience what you believe. Like, I mean, and, and this was like in reference to like, um, to sin, because there is a, um, some scriptures in Corinthians, I believe, and in regards to sin, and what it was saying was, if your brother likes to eat meat, no, 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 it was about the meat of idols, um, say someone, you know, got born again, and they don't worship idols anymore and the meat that's sacrificed to those idols, right? Really, Paul, Paul says, those idols don't even exist. So if you, as a Christian, want to eat that meat that, that was offered to idols, it wouldn't even matter because idols basically aren't real. Really, it's just meat. But if you're with, if you're with a friend who came out from that and they used to worship you know false idols and everything like that their conscience is gonna feel condemned if they partake of that meat to them it'll be sin no oh, dylan don't eat that green <laughs> um to them it'll be sin because their conscience they believe that eating that meat that was offered to idols, they feel condemned about that. They feel like that is sin. So, to them it is, okay? Does God see it as sin? No. Um, God says, you know, if one person likes to eat meat and one person doesn't eat meat, don't, you know, it doesn't matter to him. Um... So, but it matters to the person, and that person's conscience, they're sinning. And it also says in the Bible, whatever's not of faith is sin. Basically, if you don't believe that you should be doing that, and then you're doing it, you're going against your own belief and your own conscience, and that's going to mess you up on the inside. You know, you're going to feel guilty, you're going to feel condemned, and therefore, that will that'll shift the way that person sees themselves before the Father. They'll start to feel guilty and condemn before God when God's not even condemning them. So what what God says in the word is that if you're with your friend and and they feel condemned about eating the meat that's offered to idols, don't go ahead and eat that meat that was offered to idols in front of your friend. I mean, you your conscience, you may not have a conscience about that because obviously the idols aren't real, but they do and and it says like you know, um, Christ died for that person so they can have, uh, so they can be, have a clear, um, you know, so they can have a relationship with the Father. So don't make that person, it's, it calls them the weaker brother or whatever because they will feel condemned. So don't eat that meat in front of, in front of them or, you know what I mean? Kind of like don't, don't like show off like, oh, I can eat meat. I mean, because basically what it's talking about is love. Like that's not really loving. You know what I mean? Um, so where was I going with this? So yeah, about the conscience. All right. So one person's conscience doesn't, is not bothered about eating meat that's offered to idols and they're, you know, so they experience freedom in that. They don't, they experience. Yeah, they experience freedom because their conscience is, you know, clear with that. Whereas for the other person, their conscience, they would feel guilty for eating that meat. And that would affect how they see their relationship with, with God. 
um, it's not that God is changing the way that he feels about the person. It's that person's conscience and what that con their conscience and what they believe is allowing them to experience that emotion of guilt. Okay? So, you know... And, and it could go with a variety of different um, topics, like alcohol, let's say. Some people, you know, are okay with drinking wine or drinking beer. And then there are some people that feel um, that that's not right, that they feel condemned. Their conscience, they feel guilty if they drink alcohol because, they be because of what they believe. So they experience guilt. And the other person, you know, experiences nothing they experience freedom so um so yeah so what you believe you're, you're so going back to my first statement your conscience gives you the ability to experience whatever it is that you believe so if you're with someone like that the loving thing to do is to just to be with them and to um don't do what makes them feel condemned. If you want to hang out with them and be around with them, you know that's love. And and that's you know, and that's easy to do when you love someone. Um and until you wait and until they feel because God God um works in everyone to everyone's own pace and he reveals things to everyone in everyone's own pace. He's a teacher and he teaches all of us personally and individually. So, you know, while we're waiting on God to just reveal, you know, things to other people, we're loving with them because we understand that God is taking every single person at their own pace and revealing and teaching how awesome and good he is. And then when he does that, when the Holy Spirit reveals things to people, then their conscience is changed. Then they're more set free in their conscience. And then they're more able to experience the freedom of God, you know, the love of God. And they experience their experience of guilt and condemnation and all those negative emotions, um, you know, disappears. It only disappears by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the... By him teaching you, because when he teaches you from the inside, then it's really taught. Then you really, un he really gives you understanding from the inside out. So, that's what I feel like he was showing me in regards to the conscience. And I guess that all connects with guilt and, you know, all that. Uh, which is something he was talking to me before, because I've been kind of wanting to understand that whole emotion of of guilt and everything like that because um you know it's all wrapped up in what you believe so but holy spirit is teaching us jesus said that i'm gonna leave but i'm gonna send you the teacher the holy spirit and he'll teach you all things that have been given unto you um and then there's a scripture that goes like, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard uh, what God is given to you or something like that. But, but then it, la it later on goes to say in that same scripture that he is showing us and that he is teaching us and that we can know. Because Holy Spirit, you know, God comes, he dwells inside of us. And he's teaching everybody. So, um, yeah, that was it just in regards to conscience. So your, your conscience gives you the ability to experience what you believe. Okay.